Oh, hello, YouTube. We're on, a, on another rollover today. Here at the at the rail yard here in uh, the city of Commerce, the BNSF. Do you have your uh, your boss's number for billing after? Okay. okay. Chris? Prince. Prince? Okay, I'll call him right now. How much the price? Yeah. Let me call, hold on. What does your, your boss want to do with the tractor? Because I don't think it's drivable after, it has to be towed, right? But just right out the gate. So, uh, our, yard, right, our yard right out the gate right there. Oh, it's right here? Yeah, right where, you see where we, those guys are sitting? Okay. Right there. Okay. Well, my boss is going to show up right now. So, I think a rough estimate is going to be around three, thirty-five hundred. 3,500. Mm -hmm. Yeah, around there. That's a rough estimate. Well, well, I want to wait for your boss. Then. Yeah, that way he'll give you an exact number. I guess he says his uh, yard is right off uh, off of this yard right here, right outside his yard. His yard's right there. Good. Can we remove the drive line? It was flying, eh? Huh? It was flying. I know.
So now if you see the bottom uh, container hole is being obstructed by this K-rail. So I'm gonna lift from the top and swing it over a bit so I could attach my, uh, my low line, which will be my lift. Right there, you can see it's exposed now. I can touch my. Got the drive line since we're here already. What are you thinking? Yeah, just the blue rings. <laughs> what happened? The tank. Oh, the diesel tank? Yeah, it's propane. Oh, this is propane? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna touch a high line that way it doesn't slam, it catches. Yeah. That's yeah. Drive line's off now. So that's done. So now I have to connect uh, my other line. You want to pass me your blue ring so I can hook them up? Yeah, pass me that one. That's this one goes on top. I got it. Okay. I'm not carrying your stuff to the edge. Right over the 
But it says super heavy. All right. Oh, you have me doing everything. <laughs> More slack? Yeah, man. Ready? Yeah. Oh! I don't know, you could catch with hooves. Oh. No, it landed on the hooves. <laughs> it landed in between? In between the crevice? Me nalgon. That's good. That's good. Good job, Pig. I gotta do everything. I taught you well. Hey, Bear, can you pass me that line? Yeah. I might as well just do everything. You're in your cap. Give me both remotes. Thank you.
Is it leaning? Oh, <laughs> hey, big. Look at it. Looks up. Like, oh, that whole load is, is on the right. I'm holding it. Yeah, I know. It, it, it'll, it'll go over it. Up. Yeah, it will. Definitely. Oh, yeah, it will. You better tell these people. Yeah. So you wanna you wanna keep that this one tight the one Yeah, I'll keep it? mine. Okay, why are you going to four, right? Yeah. You better call the rail people over here. Look at this, bro. Look, you guys got slack, right? Look at this. I've got it all, brother. Yeah, bro. Oh, the load is, is uh, shifted. So if we let go of our lines, it comes back over. So hard, right? You put it on the ground? The no. container? Yeah. No, it'll, it'll go back over. No, on the ground. No. The chassis off. Under the chassis. We can do that. Yeah. That's the only way, right? The problem is we, we need to have the truck to, uh, to come and pull this. You get it? Because I was right. doing this vertical. I was going to tour with that one over there. Yeah, we could do that. Of course we can do that. So what do, you, what do you need a truck to come pull this truck out of the way? Yeah. Send him a picture and tell him that the, your boss, that the, the load is leaning. So the, I'm, I'm tell him that the rail yard is uh, requesting us to lift the container off and set it on the did floor. You, did, you hear, did you hear the boom boom? No, we'll no video. Okay. Good. If you let go, you're going to get napped again. Oh, oh no, yeah, no. you can tell. <laughs> yeah, he was releasing tension on that one and started coming over again. Yeah, right. yeah on the ground, it's fine. Like, it, like on uh, uh, the way there, in the corner, whenever you guys get a chance. Okay. Right, I'm, what are you buying? There's a rest right here. I'm going to go get the rest of the food. Okay, we'll be here. Thank you. Alex. Yeah. Do you have enough spread? I, I know I do. You can put it over here. Shall we give it a try? Yeah, I'll lift it right now. You know, I'm just taking yeah. a lot. Or do you want to bring it over a little bit first? Oh, no. You're talking about enough strength to what? To lift it and set it on, on the side? Yeah, no. No, I don't think so. You don't want to do that? Eh, we could, no? You want to try it? Well, the problem is that yeah, your outriders out there, so when they pull this thing forward... Well, I could push the whole thing over. That way when they pull it over, it doesn't interfere with my outrigger. But they want us to set the container on the floor, huh? They'll probably grab it with their top handler then at that moment, right? That should be okay because the turret's over here, though. You want to try it? You have to. Okay. You don't agree? Just take off the rocks. I think it's heavier. It's really heavy. You're loose? Yes, sir. Alex, if you can hold it, let me go forward my feet. That'll help us. So you got it?
What happened? They disconnected from the fifth wheel so they could pull it out. Oh, we, we could do that after. Yeah, it's not a big deal. No, what I'm saying You're is... You're saying pull it from the fifth wheel plate? Yeah, because uh, they're going to come and pull the truck, right? Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah. You guys are going to do it or... We're going to do it. We, we could do it or however you want. It doesn't Cause matter. Because your boss was just saying somebody... That you, well, oh, because we have somebody. Yeah, we... We have we have records, yeah. We'll just grab it and pull it. Oh, because okay. it has to go towed anyways, right? Huh? It has to be towed anyways. So yeah, so right there, I was just gonna have yeah. somebody come and grab it out of the way right now. But all right, I'll just never mind. Yeah, yeah. I'll just try to do it. All right, get on that table. I just need to rotate that way. No, I'm tight. I'm tight. No, your your uh, your candles. Oh, my candles are still on. Go up with yours. Hold on. Are you off? Yeah?
He wants he wants that end moved over. Yes. Right there, sir? Is he okay? He said okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very good job. Really good. I'm amazed. Just loud baby. Oh. I was trying to. Good, big. No, we're gonna grab it from the front and park the whole thing at once. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fine.
hook this up real quick just so Joker can pull it out of the way. carry my fittings in this little box makes it a lot easier to find stuff Get this out of, out of the way for Joe. We can pull forward and park it. Already shot air to the casualty. Go ahead, Joe. Drive it. Yeah, just drive it. I'll hook up your chains. Okay. Since we're already hooked up, we'll just park it for you. I'm gonna have your pig in my bed and you can leave it there if you want.
Yeah, I see that. Just getting my height. Thank you. Pull forward. Pull my truck away. You're gonna go with the gentleman, right? Yeah. Because he's gonna go back to you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm gonna go with your boss. You put a parking key. Okay. Cool. Right. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Don. No worries, man. All right. Good job. Thank you, man. You're gonna catch it right now. Okay. Oh, it's getting very hot. It sucks when the air is stagnant and doesn't move. Feels, feel it. Yeah, you feel the heat. Let go. Forget my fitting and my strap. Well, strap Yoshi's. Okay. Three hundred. What did you say? The rough estimate was three to four. Yeah, a thousand. You didn't say thousand though. No, well, yeah, I'm not gonna say three hundred, four hundred dollars. No. So you didn't say three or four thousand either. Yeah, no. I mean, it's unrealistic that that would be three hundred dollars. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what. Well, I said thirty. You know what? I did say thirty-five hundred. I was recording when I said it. Uh, I did say thirty-five hundred. So that's three thousand five hundred. So I said three to four, thirty-five hundred. I remember saying thirty-five hundred. Uh, yeah. yeah, I remember three to four, and I called him in front of you guys, but. So I think a rough estimate is going to be around three, 3,500, yeah, around there. Around three, 3,500, yeah, around there, yeah. Oh, I, I heard when you said the 500 because it was 4,000. Did it shift over? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely shifted over. That's why I was leaning in so hard. Yeah, dude, it's steel, dude. Those are blocks of steel or Ooh, aluminum? It looks like it, yeah. yeah. Aluminum or something. Heavy. Oh, yeah. It's very, very heavy. Yeah, this guy must have been flying. Definitely. Oh, you, you can tell. Happen. Yeah, well, it tells you they're 10 miles per hour yeah, slow they and do. they take it. It's a tough, tough heavy also. So when, when it's when tough, I, tough heavy like that, yeah, it will carry it in over. Oh, 
if actually the, the stuff wasn't leaning because uh. this is uh, used, uh, you know, so there's a moving on the head. Or eight pieces. Yep. Because the stuff came off the pallet when it went over it when it went over, yeah. Forty six hundred. Yeah. yeah. Alright, brother. Thanks man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, bro. guys what you saw there were uh, pieces of steel very heavy and nine pieces total each one was uh, 4,500 according to the tag obviously horribly shifted uh, obviously prevents the rail yard so we're just gonna leave it here and I guess they're gonna pick it up with their top handler or something else all right guys from Commerce California Hoke's in, Hoke and uh, Hoka is in tow flipper is uh, ready to go Peace out. Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Josh's Breakdown. A lot to unpack here, a lot to unpack. So let's start with the obvious, the load shift. Now I made a video recently about this pandemic. Um, in my opinion, it's rampant. I mean, these load shifts happen so much. This one I do believe was a driver error. Uh, everyone agrees that he took the corner too fast and that's what caused it to continue to roll. If you see towards the end of the video when they open it up, there's wood, uh, dunnage. And I mentioned this before that not a lot of companies do this, but they did and they put it parallel with the load all the way down the middle so the load stays in between. Now that helps to a degree. Um, it's better than nothing. It prevents it from sliding. But the wood is about this thick, right? It sits this much about from the floor of the container. So what happens though when the load is touching the roof of the container almost like here where it's just huge and heavy. So when you take a corner a little bit too fast, the pallet itself won't slide right but with enough gravity it will take the whole thing over the load will shift once it touches that wall you're done it brings a whole container over and the tractor as you see here and that's what i alluded to in the video that take these loads and assume that they're going to be improperly loaded and that they're top heavy and that it can fall you know if it can go wrong it will go wrong as my dad always says and the end result is this we get ourselves a nasty rollover now issue number two is money 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 makes the world go round You'll see there was a bit of confusion here and this happens quite a lot. Now this is what we call a private call. So we have police rates, we have contracts with many accounts and there's a private sector. So you watching YouTube right now, this video, you're in LA and you get need a tow, a recovery, winch out, whatever, you call us, that would be a private caller. You don't have an account status with us and it's not a police call. So you pick up the phone saying, hey Pepe's, I got to roll over here in commerce, how much? These are always super hard to quote. And this is a good example of why you can't just give a number and say it's this because then if you marry to a flat number, you're screwed. The customer is not going to want to pay anything over if you end up dealing with the load shift and extra labor and extra time. So we give them a general quote of it can be this if it's easy up to this, but when we get there, we'll be able to better assess it. And that's what Alex did. You'll see in the video, um, he did three to 3,500. It varies, but you know, the boss, AKA my dad will have to further break it down. And that's what they did. I believe he only went 500 extra to an even four. And when Alex shows up, that's when they're discussing the driver saying, oh, well, he said three to four. You know, of course, the guy said, well, you didn't say thousand after three to four. So, but as you see in the rewind, Alex did say the word thousand because who's going to see all that, all that labor, all that work, and then say, here's 300 bucks. Thank you for your service. It's 150 per rotator for this. It's comical, but that's one of the reasons why we have these and you know, the camera's always recording. I always laugh when Alex throws up the drone and he says it's for insurance purposes, but that is its primary function. It started with that before I had YouTube. Same thing with these. It's a great way to get out of situations like this where you can always pull up the footage of this gets reverted later. I mean, disputed later as has happened. You just pull that up and bam, it shuts it down instantly. Same thing with documenting damage. Like, oh, you know, this was damaged when you guys did the upright. No, 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 The footage shows it was like that. These things save our butt all the time. And in this case with the money thing and touching up on point number two or is it point number one with the the load shift there's one part i forgot to mention um and i got this from my buddy sean over at van lingen towing the owner over there huge mentor of mine and has taught me 
so much stuff about like the new era of rigging. One thing he does is on a job like this where you have two rotators to the container, he always rigs on, there's four points of rigging, right? The lift and the catch, the lift and the catch per rotator. He lifts, well, he rigs each corner for 50% of the entire weight. Doesn't matter what's inside of it, just 50% of the whole weight is each corner. And this is a good example of why. So I'm always, you know, not bashing chain, but it's when people put chain in those pockets, you put a half inch chain in there, that's what fits. That half inch chain is rated at 15,000 pounds, provided it's in great condition, not beat up, and it's a grade 10. So if you got something like a 50,000 pound load, uh, including the weight of the container, um, or just over 40, like in this case, half of that would be 20, right? Well, if you see when they were uprighting it, and I put that little text here, wait till the end about this. Alex had zero tension on the front. No tension, it was all slack. And my dad had all the weight on one single line in the back, doubled up as a snatch block, of course. But he had all the weight in the back right corner of that container because unbeknownst to them, the whole load had shifted and smacked against the wall. That's why it was fighting them. That's why when it was like this close to coming up, it still wouldn't drop. My dad had to physically force it and so did Alex. And that's when they found out, oh man, this thing's badly shifted. So in a situation like that, you have all the weight of it resting on that back corner. So we use our Bailey Synthetics, 32,000 pounds, I think, is those grommet slings, give or take a few hundred. Um, same thing with the container links are rated more or less the same, and that's the bare minimum we do. So double that and you're at 64,000, so we were well within our working load limit. But things can get scary. You use smaller straps or you use half-inch chain. Now, is the chain going to break? Of course not. It's not going to break at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand pounds more but if you get into that habit and you're in this for the long term imagine years of this years of it yet you weaken the life expectancy each time by a small factor until eventually the chains break like i've seen those um recovery shows on on netflix and stuff and it happens all the time for some reason their winches are snapping and the chains go flying and it makes for some crazy close-ups and slow motion and drama but that should never happen you know we, we've never had that happen because as crazy as we push our trucks it's still within the work and the limit of the rigging and if anything does get pushed replace it you know it's going to save a life for your truck in the future there's no real cost on that but as long as you protect you know your straps your synthetics there's all kinds of cheese stuff for that it's easier to replace the protector on a sling than it is a broken truck or, or something damaged or yourself your health you can't replace that Oh, I touched up on that and pretty much everything else on this breakdown. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Danny here, you guys' reactions on my, I got a, not really a new style of editing, but I've been trying to make these videos so concise. I have over 400 videos now, 50 something million views. So at this point, everyone's seen what it looks like to put a truck together for a rollover. The outriggers, walking out the boom. I've been kind of playing with the pace of the videos a bit to make them more concise not leaving anything out but I, you don't need two minutes of setting up i could just cut that here in between so let me know what you guys think of that little style the little sound effects the little animations it's not much and it doesn't overtake the video but it's enough to you know kind of make it a little bit more interesting so it's not as monotonous so it's not as monotone and, and boring give it a little bit of kick if you guys like it let me know in the comments and hope you guys enjoyed this entire cool job peace